We are almost done, guys. They look great. All of our pieces are filled. We have stuffed them all. So I'm going to take the tail from my head and thread that through my yarn needle or tapestry needle. I made it so when I did my decreases that I left 12 stitches at the top opening of the head and I ended with 12 stitches on the opening of my body so I know that it should have a one-to-one -one stitch ratio. I'm going to go to where my row marker ended, where my last knot was, and I'm going to find the last knot on my body part and I'm going to align the pieces, okay? Gonna go through this stitch on the body. And I'm gonna come in from the inside out of the head. And then from the outside in of the body and the inside out of the head outside in of body, next stitch, inside out of head. Just continue all the way around. Great, okay. You're going to want to look at, like pull these two apart a little bit, see if there are any holes, see if you missed a stitch and left a gap. That would not be good. We'd wanna make sure everything was sealed all the way around. I like to go back around the head because this is a kid's toy. And I have seen on more than one occasion where they grab the body and shake, 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 or they yank, 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 or you have two kids fighting over the same toy and one kid has one part and one kid has the other and they're pulling. So we just wanna make sure that these two pieces are secured onto each other as best as we possibly can. So I just go back over one extra time. Great, okay. So that's gonna be very, very secure. I'm very happy with that. Go ahead and take, just hold on to this part of the yarn. Take your yarn needle, go through the next stitch that's butted up right next to your the body. Pull through, take this yarn right here and twist it so it forms a little X shape. Take your yarn needle, go under the X shape and through that circle. Perfect. Okay, and then just pull this slowly so it feeds through without creating a knot before we pulled all the yarn all the way through. So next in the space hole right next to where we made the knot, I'm going to insert my yarn needle, poke it all the way through the other side and pull. And now the yarn is stuck in between all those fibers of the polyfill that I have stuffed inside the head portion and that yarn is stuck. It is not going anywhere. Reform it. I'm going to roll like Play-Doh. Reform. Perfect. Okay, we are ready for an arm. Great. Okay, so where are we going to put this arm? So first, if you used a row marker or you have a defined line, we want to keep that at the very back of the work. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that this is in the very back. I'm going to take the arm and I'm going to attach it to the body here. You want the bottom part of the arm set between round seven and round eight here. And the top, we will, so when we sew it, it will be right in between round 11 and round 12. So I'm going to take my yarn, going to go in one hole and through. And then from the inside out. Then in that same space that the yarn was coming through, I'm going to reinsert my needle and go into the next space. Pull that tight. And then the outside or inside out. Okay, I'm going to go in that straight line one more time. And inside out. Okay, now I'm going to go up. Inside out. 
out and up again just kind of follow the arm also and I know I want to have the top part of the arm in between round 11 and round 12 so I can go up one more through and then over this way okay now line up the arm and I see that the arm is starting to curve down so I'm going to curve with it go diagonal down and inside out and down inside out and kind of going around following the arm perfect and last stitch will just close up that arm I'm gonna look at it Okay, so it actually does kind of curve into the body. That's great. I'm gonna go ahead and sew one more layer of connection of the arm and the body, because again, I wanna make sure these pieces are strong. We got kids playing with these, we got babies playing with these, so we wanna make sure they are as strong as possible. Great, okay, we want our stop, we want our stopping spot to be in the armpit of the arm because that's where it's going to hide the most. Go ahead and insert your yarn needle. So keeping the same colors together, I'm going to go in one hole, out the other hole. I'm holding on to this end of the yarn. I'm going to twist it so it makes that X shape. Come in from below and out. Pull slowly feeding it through and it makes that slip knot reinsert your needle into a space right next to where your knot is poke the needle out and pull that through and cut off the remaining part of the yarn great arm one is done let's move on to to arm two okay so again the part where there's a knot We'll go down where the armpit would be. I'm going to line up where I start between these two rows right there. So follow that around. And that's where I'm going to start. Okay. Great. And then inside out. So I'm going to instantly start moving up the arm and I'm going to push this arm back so that way I open up the chest of the body of the Ninja Turtle making this bigger wider making the back smaller more narrow because I'm going to put the shell on the back and that's going to hide the narrowness of the two arms but I want to make sure that there's enough chest here to really give this turtle the ability to kind of make moves and do stuff okay so I'm instantly going to go ahead and move up okay between round 11 and round 12 start turning right here Great, okay, so I've just gone around the arm one time, checking for placement, checking for holes. I'm gonna go around one more time for extra security. And ending in the armpit, I'm going to take my needle, enter in one space, come out another. Okay, holding on to the slack, twist, Come in from underneath, 
and pull that tight. Great. Got that slip knot. Reinsert your needle and come through another hole and pull through. All right, and then cut your yarn. Okay, moving on to the leg. So grabbing one, go ahead and thread your needle. Great. Okay, finding where the knot is, we are actually going to attach the leg right next to the very first ring of the body part. So we're going to find that first ring, that first circle. Okay, place the knot right next to that first circle. And go ahead and insert your needle into the space. Next space, pull through, inside out. Okay, go ahead and go again around the circle. So through right there. And then inside out. Okay, so then line up the leg. Gonna go down to follow where the leg is going. Okay, and down again, follow where the leg's going. Okay. Okay, I want to make sure that there's enough space between the arms and the legs, so I'm going to kind of squish it a little bit. And start turning right here. Going to give myself three rows right here between the top of our leg and the bottom of our arm. So moving around. and down. All right, finished the work here all the way around. Let's go around one more time just to secure that leg to the body. Perfect. Okay, at the bottom of the leg, that's where we're going to tie our knot. So insert through with our needle, pull that through, take the little bit that we held back, twist it to make that X shape, bring our yarn needle underneath it and through and then slowly feed that in tight knot we're going to keep the green with the green we're not going to insert it into the tan so i'm going to take my needle insert into a space and through our work just like that cut the remaining little bit off okay last leg Okay, we made it all the way around. Let's go around one more time for security. Great, okay, we're at the bottom of the leg. Going to insert in one stitch, come out the next stitch, holding back, twisting, coming underneath, pulling that through, and then reinserting our needle through. Great. Cut off the slack. All right, let's go straight for our shell, guys. We're kicking butt. Great. Okay, the, the trickiest part of the shell is it has a little opening and when you're attaching, it's a little difficult to see, but don't worry, I can help you out. So find which side of the turtle is the most narrow. So this side has the widest chest area, which is great because it allows for hugs. Hey, look at that, I'm so cute. Oh. 
<laughs> and then the back part is kind of a little more narrow. So I'm going to put the shell on the back. I'm going to put the knotted part towards the bottom. I line up those two pieces together and I see, oh, okay, that is where they're meeting up. I'm going to put my needle through where I saw the knot hitting the body. Okay, then I'm going to lift the shell up. I'm going to come from the inside stitch out. Only tighten partial way. I'm going to go to the next space. So enter in the same space that the yarn came out of. Go to the next stitch up. Okay. And then I'm going to go to the next stitch and go inside out, then back down, next stitch, then inside out. I'm kind of doing these stitches from afar, and then when I'm ready, I'm going to pull them all tight like that, and look how it attaches everything together, okay? And then you'll go next stitch, next stitch, okay, all the way around. Perfect, guys. Okay, our shell is attached. You can choose if you want to go one more round or not. Make sure you look for gaps that you don't have any major holes, and then insert your needle in one stitch, out another stitch, Take your slack, twist it to make that X shape, come in from below, feed in and knot it. Insert your needle into a stitch and come out. Cut your slack. Okay, so the turtle itself is assembled. We are just working on the mask part now. So looking at your mask, if you chose to use the glue, it might still be drying and that's totally fine. I made a red one earlier today. The glue has completely dried. That yarn's not going anywhere. It's clear so you can't see anything. If you want to not use glue, what you're going to do is you're going to take the same color yarn as your bandana. You're going to take your yarn needle and you're going to sew the bandana into the face of the Ninja Turtle. Just go in, out, in, out, using the same color so it blends and is fantastic. It's great. That way the bandana does not come off of the turtle's head. I had a big problem when I first started making these Ninja Turtles where I did not attach the mask to the face. I just tied it on and I had a lot of complaints. So. If you want, if you don't want to use glue, but you need to attach the bandana, take the same color yarn, take your yarn needle and sew the mask onto the face. Okay. If you are using the fabric glue, this is a perfect opportunity to use the fabric glue. I love this. I use this a lot. Again, non-toxic, dries clear, specially used for knits. So it's great. This is what I do. Take the side that I already had glued facing up. I'm going to put a layer here, put a layer here, cap that off. Okay, find my turtle. And I'm going to apply the mask. right there. If you're wondering where right there is, like Tiffany, you're saying right there, but I don't know what that means. So that's round one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this round right here at the very base, we're going to lay this on top of round seven and down. Okay. And then tie a knot. So crisscross them and tie a knot in them. Make that knot tight. Adjust. I want it to look, be right 
there. Perfect. Okay, so now my turtle is good to go. That glue will dry, and once it dries, they can untie the bandana and make it as loose as they want, but that bandana is not going to go anywhere and it's not going to look awkward or scare the child when the mask comes off and the eyes come off with it. <laughs> we don't want to do that, okay? So this is just another option if you want to use your fabric glue. Sound good? Okay, grab your eyes. Grab your two button eyes. Okay, so two button eyes here. You can use whatever buttons you want to use. If you want to use the solid rounded buttons, you can absolutely do that if you want, whatever looks best for you. I just thought this looked adorable and made it look more crafty if it had the, the four buttonholes in there. If you don't want to use buttons, if you're making this for baby, you can absolutely just take some black yarn and sew little sleepy eyes on the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Or you can sew just like a round spot where the eye would go and just kind of make it your own and just sew on an eye. And that would make, if you are a little cautious about using buttons, that would help make you feel a little better if you just sew. If you want to use buttons, go ahead and attach where the buttons where you think they would look best on the mask. Take your thread Insert into the green part. I, I know it's weird, but go into the face part of the head and come through the mask. What we are doing is we are securing the button to the mask and the mask to the head, okay? Come through the button. Perfect. Okay, and go diagonal. Go through just the mask, the red mask part, or I mean, sorry, the mask part. I don't know what color you're using. There we go. Okay, and turn this side. And again, I use the black with my buttons. That way the button itself looks like a solid color and it doesn't take away from the eye. I have used a white before and it looked Kind of scary. <laughs> it did not work out. So I just really found black to be neutral and work well. Okay, with the last hole of your button, I want to go all the way into or through the mask into the actual head part of the Ninja Turtle and come back through the same hole that we started with that I first entered in. All right, great, and I'm going to cut you off. Take both ends, both strings, tie a knot, tie a second knot. Okay, looking at it, making sure it's exactly how I want. It looks great, perfect. Taking my crochet hook, Coming in from the back of the head, entering in any stitch. Coming through that same stitch that my two black yarns were in. Going to yarn over and pull them into the head. Just like that. And then I will twist my crochet hook so they come off of my crochet hook. And then those two black strings just got lost into that big mesh of polyfill that's inside the head and they are not going anywhere. Sound good? Okay, let's do our last eye. Bravo. Oh, he looks awesome. Yes. All right, there you guys go. There is your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Hello. <laughs> All right, which one did you make? Did you make them all? Oh my gosh, these are so much fun to make. I really hope you had a great time making these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. If you did, you might also really like making these. 
or watching these videos right here and also check out this video which is just a recommended video for you to watch i really hope you had fun crocheting with me today i hope you have a wonderful day and i will see you with my next video bye guys